Hey everybody, Brock from Brock's Performance. We are at a drag strip with an electric motorcycle. So, this ought to be really interesting. You guys remember Mike with the ZX-10 Gen 5. Been in plenty of our videos. Got to beat up on him on the Z with the ZH-2 at one point. Of course, he beat up on me pretty good before we changed it. So, yeah. we just a little fair play kind of thing. But now we're at the drag strip. This is where I get to shine. I'm gonna whip this. My Mike has drag raced exactly how many times? Two, two times out? Twice, the last two weeks. <laughs> two tune and test over the last couple weeks. He's getting better. Your best pass so far? I started out in 11.6 and I'm down to 10.6, so I've shaved a second off. Shaved, okay, so he's 10.60s he's in the quarter mile. He's working on it, guys. Do not do not snicker. That does not reflect the motorcycle. Oh, that's all me. It's, it's the rider. 100% me. <laughs> so what are we going to do here? My plan is to upset everyone on Team Green by jacking him up on an electric bike. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> Except I don't know that this bike has that in it. It's it's still basically stock, and we'll go over the uh, the changes that we've made to it. But my guess is that since my clutch hand is going to get much better since, there, since there's no clutch, hopefully I can get off the line and get out in front of him. And then we're going to have to wait to see if that uh, Kawasaki horsepower and my, your bike, how many miles? 33,024 miles. 33,024 miles. He just had it on the dyno on uh, pump gas. 89 marathon. 89 marathon. You made 194. Yep. 194, and that was today or yesterday, last evening. Last night, yep. Um, Mike hadn't been on the dyno for a while. It is our Sprint Filter long-term bike for all of you going, oh, Sprint Filter will kill your bike. He's got 30,000 miles. The bike makes great horsepower. Get over it. It's a better technology. Just adapt. So, let's go through some of the changes that we have made to the bike because I do not exactly have a lot of inseam here. Well, the first thing was when I got on it, I'm tippy toeing. That that's just not going to work from a comfort level for me. So we went ahead and dropped the forks in the uh, in the triple trees. We can't really drop them a whole lot. Also, as a drag racer, I like stuff being very very stable. The bike comes with a really nice damper, but we went ahead and switched over to a, a Batubo fully adjustable damper, so I could stiffen it up just a little bit more. We did put on one of our Brock's Performance front end lowering kits. You can see the straps sort of hanging in the breeze here. Uh, radio mount strap brackets, our strap, and then our strap in kit to keep the uh, the buckle of the strap from beating the hell out of your radiator if you have a uh, internal combustion engine or the not, front of not your uh, in this situation, yeah, but. your front of your battery if you have one of these uh, these bikes. Um, the, the, the Energica, and, and listen, everyone from Italy, everyone from the company, Energica, I'm sorry I butchered the name of this motorcycle over and over and over again in our last video. I talked to the, one of the engineers from Energica. It's Energica, not Energica. Sorry, I'm from Ohio. We'll get it right from here on out. So anyway, very nice. I'm also old and I can't get my feet on the pegs, so we went ahead and lowered the pegs down. And then um, we changed, hey Mark, did he actually change the size of the rear sprocket? I don't think we did, right? We just went to aluminum instead of the steel. Yeah, we, we put a Vortex aluminum sprocket on the bike just to get some of the weight down. Also, uh, I usually have sprockets because it runs the same sprocket as a BST wheel. Uh, I don't know that we're going to have a chance to mess with that tonight. It's the end of the year. This is probably the last uh, two to test session we're going to have. We're in uh, just north of Cincinnati, Ohio. So I'm just going to concentrate on riding the bike and having some fun. Um, if you hear the generator in the background, it's 59 degrees outside. And one of the things we all know about batteries is when it gets cooler outside, they don't like it. So we're trying that we've got the generator on just keeping heat. Um, 
and then we're also going to throw it on the charger just for good measure. Uh, if you want to come over here, uh, one of the things that we did once we lowered the front end to match my short legs, we built a little contraption here today out of scrap pieces on the mill <laughs> and uh, just to change the angle of the shock to get the back of the bike lowered and then we went ahead and uh, we didn't have an adjustable kickstand for it so I took the Sawzall to it. Sorry guys, I tried not to butcher anything that doesn't unbolt. When I moved this back, I also had to take the uh, really nice carbon fiber inner fender to a belt sander. And again, we can unbolt it, put new stuff back on when we're done with this. I just want to see what it'll go down the, in the quarter mile. I really have no idea. I haven't played with it with a draggy. We've been too busy working on other projects, so we just decided to come out here, have some fun, throw a little, uh, talk a little smack to, uh, to the other guys at the shop and see what happens. So we hope you enjoy this. It's going to be really, really interesting <laughs> to me. It's going to be fun. So anyway, we're going to take you along for the ride. We're going to be all set up with our GoPros here. Uh, we got the 360 camera so you can watch me gapping in Mike and then my guess is Mike's going to close that gap really back <laughs> with a whole lot of vigor since we don't have any way to keep the power going on this bike just yet. We haven't had a chance to figure that out. So anyway, hope you enjoy this. Go along for the ride. We're going to have some fun. We're going to have some fun. All right. All right, so what's this for? First race, not allowed to red light. Whoever wins, the loser has to sign this dollar bill so that it goes up on the wall to remind us to work harder next time. If I get to point at it, hey Mike, you see that? Or, Mike comes around me, whoops me, he gets to point at it too. So we'll let you know what happens with the dollar here after the first round. All right, well this is very, very strange. An electric motorcycle that makes no noise against a ZX-10. We know it'll do a burnout. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell how hard to do a burnout. There's no RPM to gauge it by. All right, I'm gonna try and leave out pretty hard here. Uh, we ain't raising no hell, I don't think. We may have to change the gearing on this thing. We'll see. I gotta say, that was the smoothest. <laughs> that was the smoothest pass. That's just, uh, you know what, that's a little too easy. I don't know where Mike was, but he's fixing to sign me a dollar. Yeah, you all right? <laughs> wow. And with the uh, regenerative braking, wow. I didn't even need to use the brakes on this thing. How you doing? I think pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you. 10, what'd we go? 10, 68, 125. That's not too bad. 
We'll see if we can do better than that, though. Mike went an 11.31 at 116. He definitely struggled. I had a 173 60 foot. Not terrible. Not good. Like I said, I, I believe the bike is just geared too tall to leave or launch as hard as, uh, as I would expect it to. And unfortunately, I did not bring gearing with me to be able to change it today, but that's okay. We're planning on doing stuff long term. Hold this ticket for me. We're going to go again. Mike, let's go again. I'm just going to leave it with all the, uh, right now I've got traction control off, analog brakes off. Instead of doing a burnout, I'm just going to do a couple dry hops because my guess is this, this thing's going to hook. And I'm, I'm just going to whack the gas wide open and see what happens. Well, all right, we don't want to leave quite that hard. Interesting. Just blew the tire off it with no burnout. Maybe I can leave harder. Hopefully get a little traction. We're going to go ahead and give Mike the break. Then run past him. <laughs> can't pick on the rookie drag racers give them a little bit of a of an advantage see what happens good news is i get my sign dollar 1058 127 same 173 all right damn i wish i had that gearing so we picked up mile an hour, and Mike ran close to his best pass ever, trying to catch the little electric wonder. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, he did catch me. He passed me. There you go. <laughs> got to give the new kids a, uh, got to give them a confidence boost. Next time, no mercy. Well, I got to say, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I gave you the break plus a little more. I gave you four tenths advantage head start. I wanted to get out on you and see if you'd run me down, which is exactly what you did. Yep. Nice job, man. <laughs> All right, guys. So what have we learned? I made two passes, 60 foot, exactly 173 on both. So, and uh, went a little bit quicker on the second pass, but that's because I ran more mile an hour. I had folded the mirrors back and picked up about two miles an hour. So we're just gonna go ahead and take the mirrors completely off since our tuning options are really, really, really slim right now to try to get this thing to go a little quicker. Uh, went at 10.50. That is definitely no slouch, um, but I'm a drag racer. I wanna go at 10.40 now, and we're gonna do whatever we can to make that happen. See Mike Davis's face? You know why? Because I got a Mike Davis dollar. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You don't want that. 
I do have one. All right, so I think it's only fair that they need to sign it. You're even gonna make me sign it on the electric bike? Well, yeah. Okay. That's what that's what getting your ass whooped does to give you motivation so that it doesn't happen anymore. This is old school, guys. Can you maybe personalize it to Brock, my hero? No, I'm. Wait, I know what you're gonna do now. I don't have uh, nasty symbols on my. This goes on the dollar board. I'm gonna bust that thing back out. I was being all quiet when I couldn't fit in my leathers because I was too fat and slow. I'm still slow, but at least I'm not as fat. We're gonna put that up soon. Mike run his best this time. Coming after you, boy. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to try and make my best pass on this bike, and then I'd like to switch off with Mike just for giggles, see what he thinks. <laughs> wow, it is really slippery back there. Let's see if we got any traction here. Oh, yeah. All right. I can live with that. We're going to try a different technique, too. I'll be lunging forward. I think we got a cold battery. All right. Everybody knows I love Kawasaki's. I do. I love them. I don't mean to be beating up on the bikes. It's the rider. So I, I jumped on his bike. Now he gets a chance to beat me up. What's your best pass? What's fast? 10 6. 10 6. All right. So let me make this clear. I hate short wheelbase tall motorcycles at the drag strip because i'm terrible on them so this really should be a comedy of errors yes yeah. well, I, mean, we'll, I think you'll find that very very easy to ride that bike is set up for road racing road racing what's that uh-huh it's it, there there's these things that like you go this way but the road goes like this mm. so uh, yeah uh, that's that's where my stuff gets scratched up ah uh, yes yes All right, guys, so what we've done, the track got oiled down, so we're only going to run the left lane for the rest of the night, at least until somebody oils it down. I have switched. I'm on Mike's Gen 5 ZX-10. Mike's on the Energica. He's just going to go out. I told him it's really easy to ride, man. You can be real aggressive. Right now, the way the bike is set up, I have no idea, no idea how to even make it make it wheelie if I wanted to it will not wheelie we need to change the gearing we need to do a couple other things but uh, Mike did a burnout but he still has gloss on his tire I, I see wet so I'm afraid he might spin hope not Mike's not a real super aggressive rider. He likes his wheelies, but 
He's new to drag racing, like I said, two, only two other times out. And there he goes. Like Mike's doing pretty well. Boy, I hate these things all short like this. All right, I gotta do that. And then I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna short shift because this thing's got super crazy gearing. take a couple times to actually figure out how to ride this thing. <laughs> and terrible. Thanks, sir. <laughs> Eleven twenty-four. Worse than terrible. One eight oh sixty foot. Ugh. All right, guys. First of all, did you have fun? I had a blast. Ah, so did I. I had a really nice time. So. That's what this stuff's all about, right? Razzing your buddies. Can you outrun your buddies? Can you not outrun your buddies? Can you get your buddy to take a bet? You know he shouldn't. Listen, <laughs> if he'd have been smart, he'd have told me to, or asked me to race for a dollar, let me ride his bike, but I wouldn't have taken the bet. I know I can't ride those things. Anyway, what a great night. Mm -hmm. um, I ended up running a best on the Energica of 10.50 at 125 miles an hour I want to say uh, sorry I don't have my act together here guys it's been a long night it's freezing 10.58 at 127 I don't know what my other time ticket is but I think it was 10.50 um, Mike ended up running a 1041 1041 Mighty ZX-10 <laughs> managed to get past the electric bike. Uh, what did we learn? Well, we learned that your bike is set up terribly for drag racing. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very terribly. Uh, and we learned that this one needs some more setup and we need to be able to do some other things. Now, I, I let Mike make a pass on the uh, Energica. Uh, what, what, are your, what are your thoughts, Mike? I mean, top of your head. Surprisingly tame um, for for the power that it puts down on the dyno. It, um, it it didn't feel like that animal coming off the line there. Well, coming off the line, it hit hard, mm -hmm. but once you got up to speed, it just it, it, it felt more like a Cadillac instead of a, a sport bike. So once you got moving, I haven't mentioned this, but this bike is also restricted to a zero to sixty speed or zero to sixty time mm -hmm. and uh didn't matter how i left on it it was going to do the same 60 foot i think i did a 1.73 three or four times in a row brutally mm. reliably neutered <laughs> and us racers hate neutered but 
the bike itself, a whole lot of fun to ride. Mm -hmm. Call, uh, really, yeah, uh, kind of a fast bit. I mean, yeah, turned a lot of heads. You don't yeah. see this often, so that part of it I think was really fun. Yep. And uh, just a, a, a fun night out with the guys, razzing and having fun. My, well, you're, so I, I know you're not a drag racer. This is your third time out now, but do you see yourself doing this a little bit more when springtime comes? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a terrible addiction. It I'm, really is. I'm warning you. It's a terrible, terrible addiction. Between the adrenaline rush and then now you always have the challenge of can I do better than I? I did. Can I beat myself? Forget about the dude in the other lane. Yep. Can I beat myself? You know, that sounded funny. <laughs> anyway, it's you know, it's been crazy here. Uh, we hope you guys had had fun. We had a we had a ton of fun. Absolute blast. Uh, until next time, I'm Brock from Brock's Performance. Mike. Mike from Brock's Performance. Also from Brock's Performance. We'll see you then.